Every now and then, I'll cross paths with a group doing a Segway tour around Perth. They take people around the city foreshore and Kings Park, and they also do Fremantle and Rotnest. Out of interest, I decided to look them up and see what they charge. It turns out that for the price of a family tour of Kings Park, I could buy one of my kids a new bike, which he could then use every day for a few years until he grows out of it. Now, I'm not knocking the tours, because I'm sure the guides provide a lot of information that even locals don't know about. I ride or walk through Kings Park several times a week, and I really don't know a lot about its history or the flora and fauna, except for the more obvious stuff like the bobtails and the magpies and the bees and the wildflowers. I think segways are better than bikes for this sort of thing. They're not as fast, but they are very stable at low speeds, and you can stop and look at stuff without having to foot, put a foot down to steady yourself. Yet, they are faster than walking when you want to get from this thing over here to that next thing over there. They provide you with a headset so you can hear what the guide is talking about, even if you're at the tail end of the tour group. This sort of micro-mobility certainly beats the hell out of doing a tour like this by bus. I'm guessing this sort of tourism works really well in Perth because of the excellent network of safe, shared paths. You can jump on one of these things for 90 minutes and travel all over the place with almost no interaction with motor vehicles. It's interesting how a tourism business can flourish in a pedestrian friendly environment. Although I do wonder if these things can outrun a swarm of bees.